We've got Mark McCarthy from South Africa, Jake Stone from Australia, Mitch Rollins also from Australia, and the young Hawaiian, Trevor Cam. Trevor Cam. See, this kid, Trevor Cam, I think he's 18 years old. Is that correct? I believe Trevor he's Cam 18, is 18 years just old. Just graduated high school. First international trip uh, with the science team. He's over here. Uh, you know, he lives in Hawaii, lives near Hawaii Kai in Hawaii, which is close to Sandy Beach. That's what he calls his home break, half point. So he surfs there every day. It's a right and left hander and it just offers a bowl. So, I mean, this kid is very proficient at the ARS. He can do ARSs off anything, and they are big, and they're explosive. So, I mean, look for him to do some, some great riding out here. I mean, he's definitely the dark horse in this heat. I mean, you look at other names, and they're great. You know, I ran into Trevor Cam at the supermarket last night, and he seemed super stoked like the rest of us to be cruising here in Puerto Rico. Um, he's one of the uh, fortunate young Hawaiians that's kind of been taken under the wing of Mike Stewart. Um, not a bad guy to learn from. Definitely not. Mike's the best guy to learn from. I mean, that guy's just an absolute bodyboarding legend, so he's... Uh, and there you can see on screen your brother making his way out of the water. David Hubbard, look at him. He's got uh, the Jack Sparrow look, you know, here in Puerto Rico, like a pirate. He's got the awesome beard to accompany his mustache and he looks uh, pretty fitting here in the Caribbean uh, as he, I'm not sure he tried out for Pirates of the Caribbean but uh, I don't think he made it and it looks like Mark McCarthy up and riding a nice air roll spin to get things started in this heat trying to get around the section look for a secondary move throws a nice little spin in the pocket followed by another spin still going it's a smaller wave working it to the inside gets the roll through the white water and that'll wrap yeah. up the first wave of this heat mark mccarthy getting on the board yeah. first talk about a guy who's proficient in ARS. actually mark mccarthy may be the most proficient ars uh performer in the iba uh, so yeah he's doing his trademark air roll spin out there just straight up getting started and uh, that'll be a good score looks like some sets out the back and look and actually we've got a replay we'll see mark uh how he projects his ars right here he's just you know just nice roll right into the spin, boom, nice landing, comes around, gets a little caught up right there, but looking really smooth, actually, that was textbook. Now, Mark McCarthy, one of the uh, competitors still in contention for the world title hunt. Um, have you given much thought to where guys are points-wise, and uh, you know how what? are you yeah, going well, about is, the whole approach? This is the leaderboard stage, so what you really got to do is you can't, you, know, you, you can't worry about anyone else, what they're doing, you just got to surf your heats and make it through. So Mark's, Mark's from South Africa. I mean, he's, you know, one of the top guys in the, in the tour at the moment. He's really, really a great competitor, one of the better competitors. Uh, we've seen he's, you know, if the waves are, are right, he's usually doing really good. He's one of the better um, performers for his age. You know, 27 years old, he's sixth in the IBA World Tour, and his local break is Alonstrad. Yeah, Mark I, currently sitting sixth on the Grand Slam series. Um, trying to make sure he keeps hold of his positioning to make the GSS for 2012. Yeah, um, he's, that's pretty, something that's coming pretty to solid. Play. Uh, you know, and I don't think he's got to worry about making the, you know, the cut. He's made the cut. He's just, you know, just focused on getting a good result here probably. And I mean, we got the two Australians out the back, Jake and Mitch, just waiting patiently, waiting for a wave. You know, Mitch Rollins was on fire yesterday. And uh, he's looking at him, he's waiting, still hasn't caught a wave. And um, yeah, he was surfing so good. He made the final, he got fourth place, and he had one of the highest, highest scores in the final. Yeah, um, Mitch put on a strong showing yesterday, working his way through the trials. He had, he had one wave with a couple of big, solid, clean rolls. He was very solid with the inverts. Um, he put on a strong performance yesterday. And, yeah, uh, here he goes. Know, He's paddling he was, he for this finished, one wave. Here's he Mitch Rollins second. up and riding. Boom. That's just what he did yesterday. Big roll taken off. He's going to do another roll. This is what he does. There it goes. Just that's his that's his bread and butter doing nice rollos. That's how he that's how he serves. Yeah, nice combination that. of rolls from Mitch Rollins on that one. So yesterday in the final, imagine he taking off and doing that on a big set. You saw that, Steve, and you're commentating. I think and it was the first wave of the heat in the final. He took off and just went straight up and did a huge roll on like probably a six footer, solid, and just right back into a second roll and really milked it. But yeah, he, he couldn't boosted find a big primary roll and then followed it up with a secondary roll and uh that was a strong solid wave yeah, for he him. started off with an 825 but just couldn't get another one in his here we have a replay of that from yesterday no this is today's this is the actual oh this just is a replay him. of today sorry so there he goes nice clean arcing roll he does those so well <laughs> he's does some of the nicer rollos we see in the in competition he actually does them on almost every wave and uh that's how good he is on them he can just do them on demand nice and clean just up and around just surfing with the lip smooth 
Very smooth, very technical rider, very clean with his maneuvers. And, uh, you know, yesterday he, mar he marched his way through the trials, finishing second behind Tom Rigby, but going consensus on the beach was Mitch was the guy to beat yesterday. Yeah, definitely. Mitch, Mitch in big heavy waves and right hand wedgie beach breaks, I mean, that's what he's born into. I mean, he does, you know, surfs that all day long, every day. And uh, so I think everyone was, you know, expecting him to win the trials. But, you know, Tom Rigby from the same area, the same skill set, and he, did the, he just came out and just took it took it he went went for it and he took the win he really wanted it and it seemed like he he might have uh you know wanted it a little just a little more than mitch he just put it together with that big air in the final getting a nine and just solidifying that win which he i think tom almost needed that that win more than mitch so it was really great for tom and he's uh he's like he saw him today he surfed pretty good in his first heat well coming into this event mitch rollins was sitting fourth in the rankings on the Global Qualifier Series, looking to stay in that top eight and be one of the riders to move into next year's Grand Slam Series Tour event. Definitely. There you can see the riders out in the water. Yeah, we're right, and I think we're going to queue up a replay of his wave yesterday um, while we have a lull in the action. Here we go. Big wave, Mitch dropping in. Nice size wave, driving for speed. Comes off the bottom, heads up to the top, and boom. Projects, nice clean roll, clean landing, resets his line, sets up another clean roll, and that was a good score for him yesterday. Yeah, that was that was awesome. So, I mean, we saw that it was a good size wave. Start of the start of the heat. Yeah, we just, yeah, he's on fire. We just missed a wave from him in the water. We're going to replay it so all you people on the... Uh, online can see it. He was a great wave. He took off bottom turn and hit a nice big invert. You guys are going to watch it right now live. So yeah, Mitch with the 5.4 on his first wave. Here's the last wave we have a replay of. A nice little invert there off the end section. His body positioning, his technique, at, down to the little technical details. Uh, I hate to say finesse, but it's almost he's almost a finesse rider. Oh, he's very finesseful. I mean, he's he, he, he likes to get everything right in his technique and he's been working on his technique his whole life and he's definitely shows you know everything's you know looks positioned perfect when he bottom turns and and he has a great speed line that's one of the one things i love about mitch's writing he has a great speed line to the lip and uh you know if he connects like on that last one he connected with the lip perfectly and threw a nice invert in i think like i think it was the best wave of the heat actually it ties with Ooh. marks for the best wave of the heat a six five so that's great he's in the lead mitchell is a five four and a 6.5, he's sitting pretty 11.9 points in first place. Mark's in second. He just needs a 5.5 to get first. Jake Stone and Trevor Cameron combos. They didn't even have a wave yet. Here's Trevor's first wave, live action. Let's Trevor Cam up and riding, driving down the line, looking for a wow. section. Nice invert there. That'll be a one-wave maneuver, uh, one-maneuver wave for Trevor Cam, but a nice way to get onto the board. Yeah, great start for Trevor. You know, he's got 20 minutes left, and he's got a good wave under his belt right there. So now he can relax, get the second wave. And we'll see what happens. I think that was, you know, an awesome little invert straight off the bowl. And uh, let's see. Oh, Jake Stone. Wow, we missed. Yeah, during that Jake. exchange of waves, Jake Stone scoring a 7.35 wow. on his first wave. Trevor Cam getting 6.65. That'll bump him up into the third position. Meanwhile, in red, Mark McCarthy up and riding, driving down the line, Ooh, pulls wow. into the barrel. Nice barrel wow. section comes out, and then he's going to bail on that one. But a nice little barrel ride there for Mark McCarthy. Good positioning. That was great. So he's, you know, he's going to get a little score there. He'll probably move back in a second, and uh, that'll be, you know, good. It's not going to be a keeper score for Mark, but he, it'll be something he, he he'll uh, he'll take to get in the second place. And here we have a replay of Mark McCarthy dropping into that one. Slides up into the pocket. Nice positioning. You can see a slight rail adjustment there. You know, driving through the barrel. Nice cover up. He got deep on that one. Comes out. And nice that's bailout. all she wrote on he that one. Good practicing his bailouts. I've been surfing with Mark a lot lately. I'm we're staying with him, and Mark's got a. Uh, you know, I was watching him surf yesterday, and he's got his barrel technique really down on these rights, and it was pretty awesome. So we're gonna go down direct to Shaggy and Edder Luciano, winner of the last heat on the beach now. All right, Shaggy, what you got, brother? Thanks, guys. I'm down here with Edder Luciano, fresh off a win in Venezuela, winning again here in the first round. Edda, congratulations, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what are the conditions like out there? The, hard, the, the heat was so hard with Dave Phillips, the, Dave Hubert, and Guilherme Tamega. It was so hard to hit. And I took the first wave in a good wave and just stay waiting for the 
the setting, but the, the waves now is so fat. I think the swell is down now. And I take uh, another one in the last minute. Your last one, let's talk about that backflip at the roll finish. Yeah, I uh, take a, a right, it's a good ramp, and I did a backflip and another rollers, and a seven point uh, something, and uh, I f take the first place. And I am very happy with this. Yeah. And uh, you're telling me you, you, this board you have, you want to lift this board up for the camera, just bring it up to here. This is Edda's competition board. He doesn't use it uh, for free surfing. It's purely a competition board. This board is very, very good. I just use it on the contest because the other one is very hard. The, this board is very good for this condition in hot water. And it, it's my secret. <laughs> well, congratulations, Edda. Would you like to say anything to people back in the Oh, wow. Huge Erebus. Would you like to say hello to Brazil? Obrigado, galera do Brasil aí que tá na torcida acompanhando todos os brasileiros aqui. Torcida para mandando aquela força para todo mundo aí. A galera já fez um bom trabalho hoje. Todo mundo se deu bem ali. Um grande abraço para toda a minha família que tá torcendo aí no Brasil. Meus patrocinadores. Toda a galera que acompanha meu trabalho torce por mim aí. Valeu, Brasil! Thanks, and uh, back to you guys. So... All right, oh, so wow, while so we were away with that interview, you saw a quick flash over to Mitch Rollins with a nice air reverse. Also, quick little exchange there with Mitch and Jake Stone. We are waiting. Jake Stone not getting a whole lot off of that one. It so, looks like he got a 1.0 for his efforts. But uh, waiting for the, so waiting for the score to drop Mitch Rollins. Wave. Wow, Mitch Rollins, a perfect 10. He's got a perfect 10 for that air reverse out of the bowl. That's what they want to see. That is awesome to see Mitch Rollins just surfing to what the judges want to see. So that's it. That's the bar has been set. And uh, here's Mark on his 5.3. Nice backflip. I mean, that was great. Mark had some great extension, great height there. Oh, he kind of messed up on the landing a little bit. And that's probably why the score wasn't so high. So that it was. But he does another Ares right, right here at the end of the wave. And you know what? He gets a 5.3 for this wave just because he dug the rail on the first backflip. So that's, you know, there's really the judges are nitpicking the heck out of everything. And then, and then we're going to see the exact opposite in the next replay. Whenever they show Mitch's air reverse, it was a perfect technically performed air reverse. Great riding. Oh, there's Jake Stone cutting out. That's his 1.0. So, so j here we go. Let's get the replay of Mitch. Look at him line this thing up, Steve. What do you see? Mitch, nice trimming line, getting as much speed as possible. Here you can see him driving off the bottom, projecting up towards the top. And he hits this perfectly. Good projection, nice rotation, and puts the leg down, sticks out the landing gear, gets it around, clean landing. Unreal. Solid, solid maneuvering by Mitch Rollins on that. So there, so there you go, folks. You want a 10-point ride? Just do, do what Mitch did. It's that simple. It's so, so easy. again, Mitch Just Rollins kidding. with a 10.0, a perfect score amazing. of 10 from the judges on that nice, big, clean air reverse off of that end bowl. So the bar has been set, Steve. That was the first 10-pointer from men's that I have seen in this competition or heard of. So I don't think there has been any other 10-point rides by a male competitor yet. And uh, so there it is, a big air reverse, huge air reverse. You get a 10. There it is, that simple. And that puts Mitch Rollins in the lead with a 16.5 combined score out of 20. He's followed by Mark McCarthy in... Second place, Jake Stone currently sitting third, and Trevor Cam with only one wave under his belt sitting fourth. But uh, we still have about 15, 16 minutes remaining in this heat. But uh, I think Mitch Rollins might have pretty much cinched up the uh, top spot unless we see yeah, him pretty wild. Look at Trevor. Oh, he just gets caught on that one. That was awesome, though. He almost made it. He just got clipped when he pulled into that, and that would have been a really high score. But, you know, he's, he's still got a 6-5 as his first wave. You know, he can, there's about 12, 13 minutes left or so, and he's, you know, I guess he needs a 6.15 to go second. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's watch the first men's perfect 10 one more time because we're really excited about this, and we want to see it happen in every heat, hopefully. Yeah, we saw a perfect 10 yesterday in the women's from Rita Perez. Here we see the first perfect 10 in the men's pro division. Mitch Rollins driving down the line. Jeff, talk us through this. Well, see, he's eyeing the lip up. Great projection. He knows what he's going to do probably from the start. Look at him twist into the air reverse. Perfect. This flies, throws the legs out. Easy landing. Look, he landed so smooth, and that's what the judges wanted. A perfect execution, smooth landing, rides out of it, just like nothing happened. So, I mean, that's, that's how you do it, folks. 
And um, notice his line to the lip. I think as he took off, he knew exactly what was going to happen and knew what he needed. And there it is, 10-point ride. He's, he's in first place. It's a 16.5 combo score. Um, Trevor Cam's in, sec in third. Mark McCarthy's in second. He's sitting on the two great scores, a 6.5 and a 6.3. Trevor Cam with a 6.65. He, you know, he only needs a 6.15 to go second. And Jake Stone only needs a 5.45 to get second. So this heat's pretty, pretty open still. A lot can happen. And, uh, you know, we're looking on, you know, 13 minutes left or so. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, there you can see in the white jersey out in the water, Jake Stone currently sitting in the fourth position with a 7.35 and a 1.0, which obviously will be a throwaway score by the time all is said and done in this heat. So and, and this is round one of the leaderboard section of the main event um i believe we're going to queue up the graphic for the leaderboard here are the current standings so far through round one so these are the guys who's, who've won their heat first second third fourth and fifth have all won their heat so they get six points and uh six seven and eight have and uh ninth and tenth have all got second and third place gets with four points and third place gets two points and fourth place gets one point so i mean we're this is heat number six we have two more heats to go in the mint competition you know so that's another you know hour hour more of competition of mints for all you people out there in webland stay tuned i mean this is we got some hardcore action coming tides bottoming out pretty soon which is probably what's making it a little stand up a little more and uh you know the conditions are glassy we're gonna see some great action so, you know, we've got a tight heat going out in the water. I mean, anything can happen. And, you know, we saw Mitch get a 10. It's not impossible for Mark or Trevor or Jake to get a 10 as well. I mean, these guys are all proficient riders, and they all know how to surf. So, so look at these. Uh, these there's some great waves. So here are the, the scores right now. Mitch first, Mark in second, Trevor in third, and Jake in fourth. Jake Stone coming off a second place in Arena Island. So his last event, he got second place. That was pretty great. We've touched upon it several times so far this morning. It's one of the great things about the leaderboard. All of these heats are stacked heats. You know, any yeah. one of these guys, including the trialist, has a chance at pulling out the win. You know, th we've seen some epic battles throughout the course of the year, and I'm sure we're not done with, uh, you know, a few epic battles here in Puerto Rico. No, I mean, there's going to be a lot more, especially with these waves we have. I mean, there are going to be some big waves, some big scores coming in the next couple of days. we got a lot of swell coming. And, I mean, look at it now. I mean, the swell waves are just pumping, glassy, wedgy waves, perfect for bodyboarding. And, you know, there's some barrels, guys getting shacked, guys hitting the lip. I'm impressed, Steve. I mean, I'm having a fun time watching this. How about you? Yeah, I'm super stoked that the IBA Tour has been able to come here to Puerto Rico and showcase bodyboarding in such amazing waves. This entire island is such a treasure trove. I've said it before, I'll say it again. There's just waves everywhere. The north side, the west side, you can cruise this island and never run out of spots to, to score good waves. Totally. The island's huge. I mean, it's a huge, really big island. There's four million people that live on it, and the amount of spots on the north side are just tremendous. If you want to go searching, you can surf by yourself if you really want to. But everyone does know about it, so there is a lot of people out most of the time. But, you know, if you want to go for a search on Puerto Rico, you can find some good waves. All buyers lonesome. You know, the funny thing was, Steve, before this event, for this week, the waves have been flat for six months. The first day I surfed out here, the, uh, the locals said it, that was the best it's been in six months. The first day the comp competition starts, boom, best it's been in six months. How is that? Yes, with Puerto Rico and the U.S. East Coast, Trevor Cam, we feed off the same weather patterns. And that's Trevor Cam on that one, punching the roll through the lip. And behind him, up and riding, Mark McCarthy in the red jersey. Just doesn't get, a, get, a, get to line in that one. So Mark and Trevor both getting waves. Trevor actually got a nice roll on that one, so that'll help his situation. I don't know if it's going to be the 6.15 he needs, but it'll definitely help. It'll, it'll get him another score. Uh, you know, Jake Stone still sitting on the back. He's got priority, and I... I think he's got priority because he hasn't caught a wave in ages, and so he's just, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so while we wait for those scores to drop on that wave exchange, 0.75 for Mark McCarthy. Still waiting for Trevor Cam's score to register. There you can see the riders on water. 5.1. So there it is. It's, it's decent. It'll keep, him in, it'll keep him in third for a little while. Jake, make it harder for Jake to get third. But you know what? Jake's got a 7.35. He's got the second highest score of the heat right now. So 7.35. So it, for him to go first, it only needs a nine. So to get a nine is, you know, it's not impossible in these conditions. And there you can see Michael Novi running down the beach. He's going to be hitting the water next with Dave Winchester 
Jorge Colomer and Milton Montalvo. Yeah. Jorge and Milton both from uh, here in Puerto Rico making it through the trials yesterday. Uh, Jorge actually making the trials final. Um, Jorge Puerto Ricans coming out strong so far this event. Oh, yeah. They'll this be on the way with break. the two Australians. Yeah, this is their home break. They're, they're, they're fired up. They got the home crowd cheering them on. It's great to see. And, uh, you know, it was pretty awesome yesterday. If I'm, I don't know if you guys got to see, but when Jorge won his heats and made it, it made his heats into the final and made it into the main event, he was doing some amazing dancing. And I was really excited to see this passion and how excited he was. It just shows how much these contests mean to these people. And uh, it's great. Here's Jake Stone, live action. Walk us through it, Steve. Jake Stone up and riding, drops into this one. Draws his line, looking for some speed, heads down, and it's not going to line up the way he wants, so he's just going to kick out. That's going to be another throwaway for Jake. And Trevor Cam, live action, down the beach, gets shacked. What's he going to do? Rolls through it. So, that, you know, that was a decent wave. You know, we'll see if that's going to help his situation. So Trevor Cam, still trying. I mean, he's got seven minutes left. He's not giving up. He's He knows he's up against some of the biggest names in bodyboarding, Mitch Rollins, Mark McCarthy, Jake Stone. And here's this young kid from Hawaii just giving it a go. It's great to see. Yes, and there you can see on screen the Pride Jet Ski and our water cameraman extraordinaire, Seamus Makeham. Seamus out there getting us the water shots. Uh, there you can see Trevor Cam paddling back out to the lineup. Yeah, he's paddling hard. He knows there's sets coming. He knows he can get a perfect 10, just like Mitch Rollins, and uh, that could happen. You know, look at these wedges coming through. I mean, anyone who gets a wedgy wave that links up could just go flying into the sky and there you can see at the bottom of your screen the current standings for this heat mitch rollins in the lead mitch scoring a perfect 10 earlier in this heat with a big air reverse off an end section mark mccarthy in second trevor cam in third and currently jake stone in fourth jake stone with a 7.35 and then a couple of throwaway scores yeah jake's you know he's out there he you know he's just hoping to get a wave that offers up some sort of lip you know he's got a great first wave and he just hasn't been able to find a wave that's uh, opened up for him and they're out there but you know Mitch has found most of them Mark's found a bunch Trevor Camp's starting to get his rhythm going here's Jake he's looking at it he is hungry look at him go he's going left talk us through it Steve Jake Stone up and riding driving down the line on this left going for a double roll and lands off the back <laughs> see I mean he knows it's a pressure cooker situation he's giving it everything he got and that's cool that's cool to see you know he's trying to be progressive and uh, you know what, he looks like he's really proficient on the left, and that's where he does his double rolls on. And uh, I don't know, what, what do you think of that move off the, off the, off the side wave, Steve? You know what, I, I like that he's been developing the double roll. Jake Stone has been training with 1994 world champion Mike Evelston and uh, trying to develop new maneuvers like the double roll. Well, it's and not a new they maneuver. Can see, they yeah, can see Jake paddling move. back out. It um, has been done besides the fact ago. that he's trying to develop new maneuvers for the sport and keep things progressive, it's cool to see the old school champions working with the new generation of riders and really pushing the sport into a new generation, a, a new evolution of the sport, if you will. Yeah, he is great, man. He's, uh, it's great to see, and I'm really psyched that Jake's on the tour trying to do these, uh, you know, progressive maneuvers, so to speak. I mean, the double that double roll looked pretty looked pretty awful. Uh, to tell you the truth, it was off a sideway. It wasn't the right section to do it. I think he's just, you know, in a, he's just in a pressure situation, and so he probably wasn't thinking correctly. Um, but you know what? He's so good. I mean, we saw him get second in reunion on the last stop. We know he can do it. We know he's been in these situations before. We know, you know, there's five minutes left. We know this kid can, can get a 5.45 on demand. But let's, let's hope he does it. You know, Trevor Camp still needs a 6.15 to go second. Mark McCarthy needs, uh, in sitting in second place, needs a 10 to go first. Uh, perfect 10, which, you know what? Hey. We saw Mitch do it, so I guess it's not impossible. Yes, and again, up next in the upcoming heat, we're going to see Dave Winchester and Michael Novi, both from Australia, going against the two Puerto Rican trialists, Jorge Colomer and Milton Montalvo. Meanwhile, up and riding, Trevor Cam, the young Hawaiian. Yeah, looking to go. He's going to look for ARS section. Hey, he does a nice little backflip on a smaller wave. You know, he's still out there giving it his best shot, and you know that's all that's all everyone wants to see is a little bit of action out here. So he's giving us some action to watch, which is great. Um, Jake Stone, he's in, sitting in third priority now. So, I mean, he's sitting off the pack. He's, you see him, he's sitting over on, wide, waiting for one to come off of Mitch's and Mark's. You know, Mitch and Mark are sitting together, waiting for the big set. And um, we'll see if something comes to Jake. It could it could swing wide, which is which happens out here at this peak. There's two peaks. It'll swing all the way over. Oh, And here we have a replay of Trevor Cam's last wave, hitting off that end section, getting the air roll spin around in the white water, and comes out, completes the maneuver. You know, I've had the 
fortune of watching Trevor Cam come along through the U.S. National Tour, and uh, he's really progressed in a short time, I would have to say. I yeah. mean, th this year he finished his first complete year as a professional on the U.S. National Tour, and now here he is in his uh, second main event on the World Tour. Uh, the kid's really making some moves in the world of bodyboarding. Yeah, we're proud to see him. You know, from Hawaii, he's flying the flag for us, for the younger generation, and it's something for, uh, for everyone to aspire to, and it shows, you know, you just put your head down and do it, you can do anything. And so that last, you know, little backflip he did comes in at a 4.5. Wasn't even uh, one of his, you know, keeper waves. But, you know, hey, it's good to see Jake's. Here's a wedge coming over. It's hopping over to Jake. See, let's see what happens. Is Jake going to go? He is. What's going to happen here? He's going to try and, oh, little spin. And uh, he's waiting for the section. It's forming up. Nice little invert. You know, clean little wave. I don't know if it's going to get him out of. Uh, into second, but you know what? It definitely might get him to third. You know, yeah, that might be enough to move him into the third position. A nice pocket spin, and then combos it with the invert off the end section. Nice closing maneuver. Um, we'll see how the judges score that, but uh, I don't know. I think that might be able to uh, imp get that 5.45 he needs to move up. So th there and it is. There's a 4.75, so he moves into the third position. Yep, he moves into third position. He didn't need much. Now he's just looking for a 5.45. So if he can do a little bit better on his next wave, he's going to go to second. But Mark McCarthy's out there, probably has priority, waiting for a bomb. And that could come. And he could get, he's looking for a 10 to go to first. So, I mean, all these, in leaders board, all these waves are really important. Trevor Camp on an inside one, I don't know if we're seeing it. What's he going to do? Big ARS doesn't quite pull it off, but uh, it was great that he tried. Out the back, huge set approaching. Riders are in position. Mitch Rollins, the leader, taking off. And that's yellow. Mitch Rollins with the big roll pulls into the closeout barrel section. So a nice big roll there from Mitch Rollins. He lands, resets, gets barreled, but that thing just took off down the line on him. Yeah, but you know what? He, he, he realized that and he just did his roll and just pulled right in. And a nice little stylish move to finish that wave and I think I don't know if it'll have better score of a 6-5 but it was a nice nice move big set and uh, you know that's what he does he does big rolls and air reverses all right so a quick little exchange there from Trevor Cam and Mitch Rollins they can see Mark McCarthy in the red jersey cruising the lineup waiting for his next wave Mark currently sitting in that second spot riders out in the way trying to maximize their points Mitch with the 5.6 on that last wave that won't really improve his score any, but yeah, let's, but we're let's, going to take a look at his perfect 10 earlier in the heat, the air reverse. Yeah, here it is. It's replaying up. See, he's eyeing up the section he took off, has a lot of speed. Look at the perfect body positioning, leg arc, and he's driving, driving, driving this beautiful bottom turn right off the lip into a perfect projection, air reverse. Amazing stuff. So, I mean, lands perfectly clean, just comes right out. Yep. Perfectly executed air reverse, great maneuver, and uh, that's how it's done, kids. Meanwhile, out in the water, Jake Stone just had a wave, but a 1.0 with another throwaway score. He's got a minute left. I mean, he is stressing. He wants to get out of his third position. He only needs a 5.4. Mark McCarthy is going to go on this one. He's got a big line launch. We could see Here's a nice little set wave. Mark McCarthy dropping in, driving down oh, the wow. line. He missed the setting section. it up. And big air wow. reverse. So that's going to huge score. That's going to not probably not be a 10, but it's going to be a high, high score, and it's going to make it really That was hard. a nice one. Meanwhile, Mitch Rollins follows up. Another air reverse. Wow. Lands, resets the line, yet. driving down the line, punches the roll through the lip. <laughs> Another nice, solid wave wow. from Mitch Rollins. So those guys just solidified their spots. Mark McCarthy solidifying second place, and Mitch Rollins making sure he in, stays in first, that no one's going to touch him. Air reverse to, to roll. Great wave. Jake Stone, what's he going to do? Doesn't get much. Mitch seconds. Rollins and Mark McCarthy taking advantage of the waves that are coming to them. Whereas in this heat, we've seen Jake Stone and Trevor Cam struggle a little bit. And here we have a replay of Mitch Rollins on this one. Talk us through this, Jeff. So bottom turn's coming right out of the bowl. He's lining up this section, and you know what? He's like, I got an air reverse. Perfect 10. I'll do it again. Why not? Boom. This lands on the top. Not as clean as his last one, but there, boom. Falls out of the sky. Look at him, bottom turn now. He's like, okay, I finished that. I'm going to set it up again. Sees the open face. Okay, just going up for a little scoop roll. And uh, let's put ice cream on the cape. A little topping here for, the, for his dessert. Bam. Done. 
Mitch Rollins. That was good place. stuff for Mitch Rollins there. Mitch Rollins with a solid heat. The highlight being the perfect 10 on the big air reverse. And there you know, can see final results for that heat, heat six round one of the leaderboard rounds. Mitch Rollins, Mark McCarthy, Jake Stone, and Trevor Cam. Yeah, so with that 10-point ride, Mitch Rollins is going to go into first place on the leaderboard uh, because, you know, it, yeah, those scores that points, are being shown still being updated. Points, and he'll get the 10 points added to him. I mean, the highest wave score of the contest so far, so that'll put him in the lead on the leaderboard. And that's great. Mark McCarthy had a nice wave at the end, another air reverse at the end bowl, and that was really clean. And so, I mean, that, Jake, I mean, that wave, I mean, that <laughs> heat had action. Yeah, that was a nice, strong wave exchange there in the closing moments of Heat 6. And...